what is going on right off horse today on this product review we're reviewing the uh four subtitled movies released by pioneer on vhs it's three movies but four different releases because well we don't really know uh, and i didn't know until quite recently it's 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 pioneer did some weird freaking things like the laser disc and all that good stuff but uh, we're covering the VHSs today of the three movies that they released, Dead Zone, Tree of Mind, and World Strongest. Not to be confused with the English dubbed versions of these VHS tapes, which I'll get out in a minute. So on the English dubbed versions, you'll see at the bottom, the text says English dubbed. And that goes for all of them. Uh, my World Strongest is actually put up right now, so I'm just going to show you Tree of Might and Dead Zone uh, English dubbed. But these four are subtitles, as you can tell by down here, English subtitled versions. It's also in red text. But there's two versions of Dead Zone, which is what's really confusing. So we're going to get right into that and uh, cover them individually. So here we go. So here we have the Dead Zone in what I call the clamshell version, which is the version that I knew existed for about three or four years. I had no idea that they released subtitled VHSs until about four years ago. Uh, and I thought this was the only release of Dead Zone. Uh, I, I noticed, I knew that Tree of Might and The World's Strongest were released in cardboard sleeves. Um, but I figured they did not have a Dead Zone in a cardboard sleeve. Well, come to find out, one of my buddies found one. And I was like, oh, crap. Now I'm missing that. And then just about the past month, I have the cardboard. I, got, I found the cardboard one for myself. Unfortunately, it is used. I do go for a sealed VHS collection, but I take what I can get. I would rather have just the tape over anything. But here is the uh, subtitled version in the clamshell. Uh, the, and the only noticeable difference is obviously the clamshell and the text in the bottom is in the yellow background instead of the red like the other ones. Same for the spine, except this in black. In the back, it does have the Japanese cast, of course. Uh, the UPC code is exactly the same as the cardboard um, sleeve version of the Dead Zone, which we're going to get into right now. Okay, so here is the cardboard sleeve version of the Dead Zone. As you can see, subtitled in English in the bottom left with a red background. Red background on the bottom on here as well on the spine. And as well on this side as well. Uh, the back with UPC code is exactly the same. Uh, has a Japanese cast and all that uh, and also just to show you uh, here is the English dub version beside it you can see the differences uh, that this goes for the same for all three of the movies uh, it will say dubbed on the bottom uh, UPC codes are obviously different between these two because it is a different release um, the tape actually is the same as the subtitled version as well I mean the clamshell version as well same tape just different sleeve Really weird. Uh, I guess they were they released the clamshell first, and then they found a way to make cardboard sleeves, I guess, more affordable. I don't know what they were doing. They were obviously testing the market, I'm assuming. Uh, now on to Tree of Might. Oh, and by the way, the Dead Zone and Tree of Might are the hardest to find uh, in subtitled versions. Uh, Dead Zone uh, cardboard sleeve being the hardest to find. Uh, the clamshell is a little bit easier. Uh, they're both hard, ridiculously hard to find sealed. I personally do not have Dead Zone and Tree of Might sealed in the cardboard sleeves. Uh, here is the Tree of Might, subtitled here, as you can tell by the text. Uh, nothing much to say on these. It's just a really interesting release. Uh, as you can see, you still have the cast here and all that and the UPC code. And to compare to the English dubbed version, you can obviously tell the differences. And now, last but not least, we have the World's Strongest, which I do have sealed, thank thankfully. Uh, this is the easiest to get, I would say. Uh, subtitled in English at the bottom, as you can see. And the spine's here. But yes, uh, that is it for this product review. And that is the four... Well, three subtitle movies, four releases. Um, these are very, I don't know why, these are very intriguing to me, just for the pure fact on how weird it is.
And the, the weirdest part is this clamshell they released is not the same as the other clamshells released like on other movies. Like the standard clamshell the white with the white clamshell like they did for the Broly Legendary Super Saiyan movie. It's just, it's a different and harder case clamshell. It's not the same, the mainstream clamshell. If you know anything about, VH, think about VHSs, um, you know what I'm talking about. The very cheap, plasticky clamshell one. But either way, if you guys enjoyed this product review, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see on the next video. And you guys stay awesome. I'll see you guys on the next Dragon Ball video. Peace.